Welcome to another unit in this preparatory course Mathematics. This time I'm going to talk about the so-called Pascal Triangle. The Pascal Triangle, that's basically this table here. Well, it's nice to know how this looks like, but there's like an inherent logic behind this, which explains first off how we get to those numbers and second, also what these numbers actually can be used for or where we see them again. Well, first off, we have two numbers. We have um, here on the left, the different rows and here the different columns. So we can refer to each of these cells by the corresponding row N, the corresponding column k. With this in mind, let's first talk about how those numbers result. Well, basically we start with a 1 in the upper left. And then we fill all the no other numbers with zeros. And we imagine that here on the left there's also zeros. Because then what we do when we calculate a new number, we always consider the number above it and above and to the left. So above and upper left. So those two numbers and we add them up. So if we have one and zero, we get one. That's here, this one. And we can do a second one. If we want to get this one here for two and two, we take the one above, that's here, one and two. And we take one and one and both of them together give one. So due to this reason that in the upper right part we only have zeros and here we imagine to be zeros as well, we will get the whole first column as ones and we get the diagonal here as ones as well. So that's a natural result, but all the other numbers also result from the same formula. So for example, if I want to have the 3 here, that 1 above is the 1, and to the upper left we have 2. So 2 plus 1 gives 3. Down below the 6, that's actually the 3 above the 3 to the upper left. And the 10, that's here the 4 above and the 6 on the upper left. So that's relatively easy and straightforward. However, what we do here is basically calculating the binomial coefficient. The binomial coefficient, we have n over k. So the n here in the binomial coefficient, that's the corresponding row. The k, that's the corresponding column. So if you want to calculate 5 over 3, you go 5, so row 5, column 3, and you get the 10. If you want to calculate 10 over 8, you go row 10, column 8, and you get the 45. So that's actually how those two things relate, and as the binomial coefficient, as mentioned in the unit on the binomial coefficient, also relates to the binomial forms, the Pascal triangle actually describes the coefficient for each type of binomial form. So if I have a plus b to the power of 0, I only get one value, and which is 1. Everything to the power of 0 is 1. If I have a plus b to the power of of 1, that's actually 1a plus 1b. If I have a plus b to the power of 2, that's what we usually know as first binomial form, we have 1a squared, 2a times b, and 1b squared. However, the other parts can be used as well. a plus b to the power of 3, that's 1a to the power of 3, 3 a to the power of 2, b to the power of 1. That's 3, a times b to the power of 2, and that's 1, b to the power of 3. 
So that's basically one row giving you all the coefficients for any binomial form with the corresponding exponent being here, the corresponding row. And well, that's basically all I can mention to this Pascal triangle. So I say goodbye for this unit and see you next time.